You gon' have to do more than just You gon' have to do less when you're Lil' mama, you know I Always want you to You gon' have to do more than just You gon' have to do less when you're Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's me Shabri. I'm coming to you guys today with a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial just featuring a neutral eye and then pink glitter liner. What I'm doing here is to basically color correct my eyelid. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and then I'm setting that with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder um, just so that the shadows won't crease when I actually go to apply them. So I'm going in first with my transition shade. I'm actually using MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep. Just sweeping that through my crease and a little above my crease. I'm going in next with Max Brown Script just to add some warmth to the eye look. I'm sweeping this in my crease and then I'm going to focus this on the outer V of my eye. Next, I'm going to go in with my Lorac Unzip Gold Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm using the shade Unedited. It's a nice matte brown eyeshadow. I'm just focusing this into the crease and on the outer V to basically add some intensity to the look. Um, once I got the desired look, I'm going to go in again with that same Lorac Palette, and I'm using Undeniable. It's a matte, um, just like a matte mauve type of shade. I'm going to go ahead and apply this just with the flat eyeshadow brush and just use patting motions to build up that color to the intensity that I want for it to be. Next from here I'm going in with um, some gel liner. This is from Inglot in the shade 77. I'm just using an angle brush to basically create my wink liner. Now this part was a little difficult for me because I usually don't do wink liner. But if you mess up, just know you can clean it up later um, at the bottom edge, either with makeup wipes or your concealer. So I'm just going in to perfect that wing liner look since this is a big part of the eye look itself. Next from here, I'm going in with some um, adhesive. I'm using this to just line the very top of that liner. It doesn't have to be perfect at all because you are going to cover it up with your glitter. I'm going to go in next to add the glitter. I'm using a angled liner brush from Sephora. I'm just using some pink glitter that I already have. So this is a loose glitter that I'm using. It is messier, um, so if you do have actually like a glitter liner in a pink shade, you can use that opposed to using this, so you won't have like loose glitter just dropping all over your face. But once that is applied, I'm gonna go ahead and add some eyelashes. This is by the brand Eyelure. These are in the number 126. I just work my way to the center of the eye. It just works best for my eye shape when trying to apply my eyelashes. So from here, I'm going to go into prime my skin. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer. This is my all-time favorite primer to use. I'm just using that to prime my skin. I am going to go ahead and color correct as well. I don't usually do this, but I've been noticing lately um, when doing so, it does just help my makeup to look better. So I'm just adding the LA Girl Pro Conceal, I believe in that orange shade, to any dark areas, focusing it underneath my eyes because I do have deep set um, eyes. So I do want to make sure that that's covered up as best as possible. So again, I'm going in with the greatest of all time foundation, in my opinion at least. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Cream in the shade Mink. So I'm just using that and buffing that into my skin. I'm actually using a new buffing brush from e.l.f. and I really like this brush. I may come to you guys with a review um, on this brush, but it works really well to apply my foundation. I'm going in next to just highlight and conceal my face. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn um, to start out at first. I'm going to put this under my eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose or down my nose on my chin and then also in the center of my forehead. So I'm just doing that here now. I've noticed y'all that those higher end concealers just don't work for me. Like this LA Girl Pro Concealer, in my opinion, is the best concealer out there hands down. It's thick and it just conceals and highlights your face so nicely. But I'm just going to go in now um, with my Beauty Blender to blend out that concealer. I do use a damp beauty blender when doing so. It just helps for the concealer to actually melt into your foundation. I'm gonna go in and conceal just a little more highlight, just a little more under my eyes. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend out any harsh lines with my foundation brush, not picking up any more product, just using what's on the brush. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face as well, just using this contour cream stick. I don't know the exact name of this, but I'll list it below in my description box. I'm going to go ahead and buff that out now as well. That way I get rid of any harsh lines so my contour isn't just so there. So 
So once I blended out that contour, I do go in to set it. I use the CoverGirl Ebony Queen Bronzer. Um, from there, I am going to set my highlight using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder once again. So from here, what I am going to do is to reverse contour my face using that same Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and my Beauty Blender. This just helps to bring out my cheekbones. I'm going in next with the flat top powder brush to sweep off the excess powder. Um, I'm also using some of the Mac Miller Life Skin Finish in Dark Deep. It just helps to basically add color back to your skin when you are sweeping off the excess powder so you won't look so ashy in those areas. So I am doing this here now. I'm actually going to pick up some more of the Mac Mineral Life Skin Finish once that is all swept off and basically blend out any harsh lines. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off this eye look. I am smudging Max Brown Script on my bottom waterline and then I'm also going to pick up again that unedited shade from the Lorex palette and smudge that there as well. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the inner corner of my eyes using the Bobbi Brown highlighter. I'll use the same highlighter to um, highlight my face along with the ABH highlighter brush. I'm going to use this brush for my cheeks and my nose but for my forehead I use a fan brush. It just applies the highlighter um, a little more sparingly so it gives a really natural highlight to the center of your face. I'm going to go ahead next to complete my lips. I'm using MAC's Chestnut Lip Liner to line my lips and fill them in just a little bit. I'm going to add to the center of my lips Color Rain Sugar Liquid Lipstick. I absolutely love this liquid lipstick for a woman of color. It just gives the perfect nude and it lasts all day. So from here I'm going to set my face using the Knit Setting Spray in the matte version of it. And that's actually it for this look ladies. Let me know how you like it. Please thumbs up for more makeup tutorials. And until my next video I will see you all later. Bye.